hear me now. Yeah, you can hear me now, but for some reason, uh, something has changed in um, our Streamlabs that caused our mics to get shut off and change what their inputs were. All right, give me a sound check. Hello? Check, check. Works. Okay, good. Yeah, it did. I don't know. I didn't even have an update, so I have no idea why it did it. Hey, so now I'm going to say it on camera where people can oh, hold hear. Hold on. Y'all. You're mute me, aren't you? I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. You can now. I unmuted you. you can, you're more than welcome to say what you say. All the they time. all know. Which means all that information I gave you at the very beginning, you heard none of it. Uh, so, might as well go back through it. And uh, somebody can redo her um, the recap as well. We walked through some things. We had to back out of the tunnel because uh, Bren woke up a monster mechanical dragon thing. We went through a forest where the elf said, don't hunt, it's our territory, but we're also not helping you. And we stayed in one of their little tree houses, and now we are being hunted by something that uh, Thrall knows about. Yes. See? So easy fact. peasy. Uh, but the typical I, I usually should give a shout out is uh, Roll20, check it out. Hero Forge, check them out. Gory Cube, check them out, and um, what am I missing? I'm missing? No, that's it. That's every one of them. Down below, we have the link for the extra life, so you can click on that and give your long. So that's the short, abridged version of my opening spiel. So I like it. Yeah, well, I mean, I got to make up for the fact that we sat here dead air for twenty something minutes. Go ahead. I know it, it's no. biting at you. So you guys are walking through the uh, forest and you hear the weird clicking noises that has been identified as kind of the clicking noises that a tricreen makes. So quite possibly that might be what you're hearing. You do know that they're hunters and oh my goodness, there's six people watching and we had all that dead air. Shit. Hello. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Greetings and sorry. For, with us. Yes, thank you. Uh, <laughs> you had to say something, two people left. Did they really? Way to go. Yep, they did. Alright, well, my bad. Uh, Alright. So, you guys hear the noise. What are you doing? Uh, you didn't really tell us much about it, right? You just told us that's what it is and they're hunters. So. Okay, so is this, is this something that we fight? Do we hide? Do we just keep moving? What do we do with this? Hide. I think hide is a good option. Where did Jones go? Um, Why would we hide? Can we not talk with them? Well, what is, yes and no. They can't speak, and very few people understand their language. But they're telepathic. What are they hunting? Like, rabbit? Sassy elves? We know where they are. Depends on the type. There are some not so great ones that will hunt anything. Are they hunting you? Well, there. I, we had a couple fights with a group of bandits. But Would they have a way to track you? I don't think so. But let's kind of take it low and see what's going on. Okay. I mean, if you want to try to hide, we can. And let's see what they're up to. See if they have any markings on their uniforms. Okay. I will go. Yes, Brett, go to the scouting. That'll go great. <laughs> I'm going to go hide in the bush. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you rolled because it didn't come all the way through. Oh, uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, if we're going to observe. Uh, oh, okay, that's a 15 for myself. That's pretty damn good. So, I'm standing next to a tree holding a leaf in front of me. This checks out wholeheartedly. Then he keeps looking around the leaf periodically. He's heard how octopus 
those uh, can blend in with their environment. He's trying that. Is it day or night right now? I don't recall. Uh, it's... I don't recall either. So we've been traveling for a day, and we got right. we were going to try and make it to the river. So I think it was about halfway through the next day, were you not? Yeah, I was going to say like oh, half a right. day. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so... Um, Ooh, it's storming here. If I could step in. Are you step. hiding or no? I am. I'm sorry. I rolled a... 15-ish? Yeah. So, sure. So, four plus one. Yeah, because I rolled 14. I have plus one. All so right. Let's, um, let's see if we can put you guys somewhere else. Nope, that's not the route. Alright. You know what? I'll just put you on this map. I'll leave okay. it dirty. <gasps> There's so many dead things! Yep, yeah, and I'm about to clear them out because I didn't clear them out last night. I think it's everybody except for Draw. No. So Draw would like to yep, bring his I'll character. Bring him out. Yeah. I'm going to hide between this little but that checks out, yeah. leaf right here. Somewhere. Is yeah. Guinness hiding? Oh, yeah, I guess I should do something for him. Huh. I, keep for I keep forgetting. Fair. Okay, yeah. Just laying down right next to my feet, hiding. <laughs> Probably like looking at your, your ankle or something. Okay. So you guys think you're hidden? No. Well, actually, I'm going to move now that I know where the river is. <laughs> Are you going to be a puddle in the river? I'm going to put a little hotter next to the river. Very effective What's hiding. This? That would be a very effective hiding. Yeah. Just That's grin hiding. You know what? That checks out on a lot of different fronts. No, yeah. that's here again. Alright, here we go. Okay, so you guys are hidden. And I guess we're just going to wait and see if that thing comes by. Well, give me a perception you know, with check. Its telepathy, I'm sure, is hiding a whole lot of it. Uh, was there a storm coming in, or no? Uh, no, the, the storm was couple days ago when you guys in the uh, cave. Okay. Why are you kids of noise? Uh, is it uh, cloudy or not? Hold on, let me stop this. Uh, so, cloudy or not. I didn't bring up my book. Where's my weather chart? haven't asked about weather in so long I forgot to bring it up. Alright, let's see. Uh, I'm eager to tell you guys this was. Oh no? Yeah, sorry. I keep forgetting things. <laughs> Alright, uh... Yeah. Green. It looks green. 
Okay. So, yeah, you're looking at clear, sunny, light winds, about 66 degrees Fahrenheit. All right. What direction are the winds coming from? The east. <laughs> that was going to be a 24, but with this advantage, that's a 13. Is that your... Perception. Perception, okay, I see it. Oh, okay. Are we percepting things? Yeah, you see... Well, first of all, you see Bryn and, and Yennis definitely. I'm most not. definitely just kind of like sitting there. Hiding behind a holy leaf. Not a religious relic, just a leaf that has been eaten on by some bugs. That's not. I rolled 11 for perception, so I don't see very much. I thought it was uh, a leaf that said holy. <laughs> uh, draws uh, paying too much attention trying to find the river. So, yep. we all have crap perception. Uh, or stealth. Yep, so, you, don't, you don't see anything. Cool, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to get out and uh, stand kind of in the open area. Since, you know, he's hiding so well anyway. And uh, which direction did you say... You did we hear this? You yeah. just kind of heard it in the air. You didn't have a, a set di direction. Okay, I'm going to. But some somewhere between here and the river, you believe, because it wasn't from the direction it came. Okay. Any of these trees look like branches low enough that I could try and climb up to get a better view? Sure. Alright, I'm going to shimmy my little dwarven butt up the tree. And uh, see if I can get a view. Alright. Because I don't know where Jem's is. He's the only one that actually hit well. Uh, Heath as well. Perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah. Both the same. And uh, take another look. That's. Does this give me advantage being up higher than the? Um, no. <laughs> okay, that's a that's a hot ten. It's a hot ten. Hot ten. Yep. Actually, you know what? Give me a roll with advantage, for other reasons, just not visual. That's a six. That's a six. All right. So can't ten. Can't me out at all here. Yep. So ten. <laughs> ten is the best thing you have. Yep. Yeah, I don't, I don't think these that they're there anymore. I'm gonna like come down clunking with my armor, not even trying to be quiet. Alright, so where are we? There you are. You know, in our future grave area, obviously. Okay. Uh, okay. So Yeah. Roll for initiative. Shit. <laughs> Alright, I'm using different dice. <laughs> Hold on, pre roll. Huh? Let me go ahead and clear what we have here. Um. Alright, now roll. Alright. Oh, sure. Roll a natural 20 there, but. I rolled a six on the dice, so it's only a seven. <laughs> Alright, has everybody rolled? I'm yep. changing my... Did you roll for Heath? Changing Heath, yes. Okay. He's at 23. No, 20. 15 plus 9, 24. It won't let me change the It's just seven. Thank you. Yep. Turn some more lights on. Seven. It's good. It's going to be good. It's going to be... A Good time. Real okay. good time. So, um, Felicity is up in the tree. She looks around and she says, I see nothing, and starts okay. to climb down. What is Heath doing? Um, right, hearing some clicking going about, he is going to prepare a, uh, a web out of the Wand of Webs if anything attacks. Alright. So he's going to prepare to cast that spell on anything that does attack. So what's Jim's doing? Uh, uh, 
he's going to do similar uh, long, or short bow prepared to fire a shot if anything attacks. And uh, Bran? He's going to kind of duck walk to the middle of the group, stopping every five feet with the leaf in front of him, thinking he's hidden, ready to pounce on anything that gets close to his friends. Okay. So. Felicity. Yeah. 22. Yeah, that, that's good. <laughs> you got a shield? No. Oh. No. So, okay. as she's climbing down, something reaches out and touches her shoulder. It's not a plant, is it? Nope. It's not what it's anyway. It um, causes... 10 points of electric damage. Shocking damage. That sucks. As you are grasped. And wait a minute. There's more to that because you are wearing metal armor, are you not? Oh. Uh, advantage on that attack, I believe. Oh, well, you already had the advantage. Yeah. So don't worry about that. Oh, darn. Yes. Uh, and for a moment, you catch the glimpse of um, a simian face. Mean Dan. Monkey Thank face. Oh, no. Okay. All right. But it, it's it's wearing. Um, let's see. I'll actually show you. Where is it? Where is it? Horrible. Hello. Let me show you that. Maybe, apparently not. I think everything else has got a VTT to it. Why does this? Spite. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Alright. Uh, the new monkey race you're trying to send Yeah, now. pretty much. He's the... Uh, it's the... Uh, yeah, how dozy. But you you notice his face has got uh it, it it's a monkey shape with weird look like gliding. I remember We've seen whatever. them before. You guys haven't. Oh, I thought. No. 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 You've uh, seen flying metal monkeys. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. Um, yeah. but his face he's got a mask covering like from his nose and his mouth that. Makes is making a clicking noise as he's breathing. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, talk with reaction here, y'all. The monkeys are shocking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, the one I tried to send out, it didn't. It just sent a link to that, so it probably won't work. Okay, it's something similar to that one right there. Except for, like I said, it's got a weird-looking mask that is making clicking noises. Yeah. And he, uh, as far as those who had things held, you catch a glimpse of it right behind her. Okay, so I'm going to let off uh, my arrow. Uh, 15 plus 8. Uh -huh. 23 to hit. All right, uh, and it's just the one I saw. Nothing else has caught my eye. Right, it's all you saw. So that is 16 plus 5 points of damage, so 21 points of damage. Where am I? There we go. There he is. How much? Uh, 21 points of damage total. It's 
probably got a save because it's an it's area. It's a spell save, yeah. Spell save of 15 dex. Yep. Um, somebody else needs to do that as well. Yeah, it, since it's a 20 foot, um, actually. Uh, okay, so yeah, it's going to be, if it's right there. Uh, oh, that was a natural 20! So yeah. Alright, so the two of you are actually, he dodges so one way, you dodge the other. When I dodge the other, do I fall to the ground? <laughs> Well, how about you give me an uh, acrobatics check? I did roll a natural 20. Huh? You ate all four packs of those peanut butter crackers? Come here. Thank you. It's so good. That's so good. You said uh, acrobatics? Yes. It's a 19. Yeah, not a problem. You you dive to the side, you grab the branch at the last second, and let yourself down to the ground um, rather simply. Yep, let deep. Okay. So, it's still a difficult terrain. save is for when they start their turn in that area, so. You've rolled, you've saved, that's all that matters. I liked it, kind of. Yep, on its turn. Felicity. Yeah? Your turn. Oh, already. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Uh, okay. hmm? I had more time. I thought I had more time. Alright, um, I'm going to use... It's still difficult terrain. How high up did I climb down? Uh, you didn't say how high you jumped, uh, climbed up, but I'm going to say you were probably about 10 feet from the ground when you... Uh, dodge the, the web. Okay. Um, <laughs> and how far away am I now since we both dodged in different directions? Probably about, I'm going to say 20 feet from each other. 20 feet from each other? He's okay. higher up, you're further down. Okay, cool. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and it's already been hit, so I'm just going to cast um, Sacred Flame at it. Okay. Uh, so I need a deck save of 14. Alright. Good. It made it? Yeah, he made it. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, jump down to the ground? Uh, you're already on the ground. Oh, I thought you said... You grab the branch and let yourself branch. down on the ground without a problem. I was confused. I'm oh, sorry. No, that's okay. I thought I had more time. Um... Yeah, then I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon as my bonus. Nope, I can't. I did a spell. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. You did a cantrip. Oh. Okay. 
they don't have to do, do it. They don't have to have spiritual spells, weapon. But you can't do spell spells. E, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Then yeah, I'm going to cast spiritual weapon uh, beside it. And that will attack as well. So it's going to be a plus six to this. So that's a 25 to hit. Ouch, okay. And that is a 1d8 plus three. Seven, eight, so 10 damage there. A force damage. So if it's still in the tree... Yeah, you're certain uh, it didn't cause as much damage as you was hoping for. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Um, that's my turn. Okay, draw. You um, recognize okay. this as what it is, and you're yes. pretty certain that it was using something to make you think it was something else. Gotcha. And is it wearing any insignia or anything that would mark it? As uh, yeah, he's wearing a what looks like a long red jacket. You recognize that as um, like a bounty hunter guild, I suppose, from where you're from. Okay. What kind of trouble did you bring us? Okay. Um, I, I you know you got issues with bandits and stuff. It's why the ship is currently crashed on this planet, but. So, in Pangalaxis, or whatever it's going to be called now, uh, are you hunting somebody specific before I shoot? Um, yeah, I guess now it's just come. Okay, so, are you hunting somebody specific, or are you trapped here? What was the name of your ship? <laughs> well, I have no idea. They're uh, from the no idea. <laughs> let, let's just say, uh, let's just go on and say the dragonfly. Okay. Crew to the dragonfly. Okay. Then... Check this out. Yep. Uh, well, then... Did preferred. I'm shooting them. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Seems no, like the smart thing friends. to do. seems to hit a shield. Well, not an actual shield, but gets close to the body and then um, it hits something real close to the body. Not a shield. You reckon, I mean, anybody cast magic? What? Uh, Heath would let you know it looks like mage armor. Okay. That's uh, now it's his turn. Uh, give me a wisdom save, please. As he costs Nestor says, now you know. No, no. All right. spells, but apparently I don't have them turned on. I don't understand that. It's not my spell list. Okay. How does that work? Uh, the spell? No, uh, I have a spell list, but none of them are showing up in the actual spell list on the character. Oh, that's okay. Weird. Oh, that's right, because reasons. Because reasons. Yeah. Because reasons, I forget what he is. Oh. Uh, that kind of sucks. All right, so uh, yeah, yeah, he um, negates it at okay. fifth level. Um, I think no, 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 is lower than fifth level, right? It's a, it's at a second. That's the highest he has right now. Just yeah. This, is, All right. this may be an easy fight for you guys the way it looks, but we'll see. So, Jims? Um, he is going to 
fly over into that area, into the tree with that thing. Okay. And he is going to uh, hide in the tree initially behind him in the in the foliage of it. That's a twenty-eight to hide. Okay. And then he is going to thrust out with a short sword at the back of this thing's neck. Okay. Go for it. Does it seem? It doesn't seem to. Okay. I couldn't that make is... that. I couldn't make that roll if I rolled a natural twenty. Okay. Uh, yeah, that is a. It's not great. It's a tw- uh, ten, ten plus eight. The hit. Eighteen. Yes. Yes. Right on it. All right. Then when that happens, he and will. You feel a ahead. little resistance, but it seems to bypass it. Go through it. All right. So. Damaged. Okay. What the hell keeps doing that? It's on the lid. No, it's like something's um, USB is disconnecting. Yeah. yeah. How much you say? Eighteen one eight total. All right. Okay, uh, Bren, you see this monkey type creature up in the tree with uh, gems at the moment. How big of a tree is it? I mean, it's a tall tree. Is it, like, really thick? Yes. Thin? Yes, it's pretty thick. Is it bigger than his branch? Okay. But yes, it's a lot bigger than the branch he's hiding behind. So, it would be able to, like, shake him out of the tree, so... You don't think so. Alrighty. Uh, let's see what I want to do. Alright. Okay. Uh, yeah. I will activate my ring. Jump up to the tree where he's at. You want dex A or dex Check, acrobatics, athletics. Well, mm, acrobatics. Mm. Plus six. Uh, I just remembered the web spell. That's a 20 something. Uh, yeah, 25. What's what? 25? What? Uh, the deck save for the web spell. Oh. Since I flew into the web. If, if you wanted. Oh, I gotcha. Oh! I thought, what? I have to make sure. Took me a minute. Yeah, no, before my end. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, that's a waste of a natural 20. 26. Yeah, you jump right into the web. Okay. Hey! Now it's your now, turn. Now it's just difficult terrain. <laughs> yeah. Am I next to him? At least? Mm, how far can you jump? Uh, Did 54 you, feet, I think you said. Is that running jump? Yeah. Yeah. That's with a running jump, right? And I don't think that's 54 feet vertical. Uh, no. Hold on. No. 5E. Looks like that. Alright. Then you have your high jump. I got 18 for strength. Uh, spin up jump. For with the running start, long jump is 54 feet horizontal, 21 feet straight up the ground. Reach up and grab something 30 feet off the ground. Without a running start, 27 feet horizontal, 10 and a half feet off the ground, 19 and a half feet. All right, uh, so you're just shy of reaching him. Okay. Uh, so the rest of it's difficult terrain? Yeah. So I'd say... How many... Uh, I'd say you're probably 10 feet away. Okay. So I'll move the rest there to him and grab the little shit. Okay. Alright. 
Or not. Probably not. All that for nothing. Yeah. That's five. That's five, seven. That's twelve. Yeah, no. Okay. I'll just rage at him. That's my bonus action. And that'll be it. Alright. Uh, well. Let's just do this. Everybody can give me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, I'm sure I'll do very well. Actually, I will. Alright. 17. So that is a 6 plus 4 for Heath and a 11 plus 2, so 13 for Gems. So and a 9 for Gold. I have a plus 6, and my total number is a 7. Okay. So you're telling me that Bren is the only one that made this save. Yeah. Would appear so. I'm not proud of it. Uh, uh, actually, he does have a luck point. He will use a luck point to attempt. That is still at 15. Okay. Um, everybody else is under the uh, hypnotic pattern spell. So 15 didn't oh. make it? No, 15 was just one shy. Okay. Uh, sure. DC was 16. Sure. So yeah, all of you are now, except for Bren, of course, are currently under the hypnotic whatever. This checks out. And, uh, and Bren, let's uh -huh. see, that is a, all right, so can't do that. Oh, guys, help. Oh, pretty. Hey. So, I will let you, I guess you're within, you're within range of him now. Yes. I'll let you take a second opportunity as he jumps from the branch that he was on and glides over to another tree. Alright. Yeah, that's 10 plus 7, 17. That's a miss. All right, Felicity. <laughs> you are currently under a hypnotic pattern. Is it save at the end of the turn or save at the. Uh, no, this is a uh, uh, failed save. The creature becomes. Damage. Yeah. Spell or ends. If the affected creature takes any damage or someone else uses an action to shake the creature from its stupor. So yeah, uh, Bren flies away. Uh, Felicity is La La Land, checking out the pretty colors. Drawl is doing the same thing. So is Heath, so is Gems. Back to you. Why are we standing around? Get him. And I too will leap to the other branch. Okay. Does his uh, leaping cause other branches to fall and maybe hit one of us? No, you're not that way. Oh, yeah. uh, but you are now um, about 50 feet in the air. Okay. I'm going to pop, 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 pop. Not that time. 19? Just hits. Okay. I have one hit. Alright. Ooh, ooh. Eight points tall. I mean, he's taken some damage already. Let's, Let's see. Put him down. You notice he takes no damage for that. Oh. Are your fists magic? No, my fists are not magic. Uh, okay, so if it has to be magical, my bow is not magical. He 
just knows he punched him and he just kind of looked at him and shook it off. All right. How about a 18 for a grapple? Uh, so I need to oppose that, don't I? Well, not yeah. Okay, you have a hold of him. All right, you little shit. You could also uh, tell your pup to come and you know, rouse one of us. Like what He's not mean? smart enough to know what's going on. Uh, he just sees y'all standing true. there. Uh, he doesn't yeah. see the sparkly light in the sky. All right, so you done? Yeah. Okay, so... A 19. And I'm sure the other one does miss. That's yeah, a 12. Alright, so you will take 11 points of force damage. Right? Force is force? What is that? Eldritch Blast is force. Yes. If that's what it is. Yes, but there's more to it, so let me go and find that. Um, so, yeah, he brings his hand right up in front of him where you're holding him, hits you in the chest, you were knocked back 10 feet. No shot huh. save or anything like that? Nope, repelling blast. You fall on top of one of us? You're knocked back 10 feet and you're falling uh, 50 feet. Top of one of us. Uh, tell you what, tell you what, if he rolls a... Roll me a dexterity save, and all this is going to do is determine whether you land on one of them, and if they take half the damage you would have taken. Yeah. Okay. Not Jeff. So, Keith or Felicity? <laughs> yeah. All right. That would be a 10. It's a dex save, right? That's a 10? Yeah. All right. So... You'll take 17 points of falling damage as you hit the ground right in between Heath and Felicity. Uh, is that halved or? Nope, nope. You didn't land on him. You rolled a 10, so. Well, no, I'm raging. I didn't hear you say you raged. He did say yes, you raged. Yes, did. Then but yes, you'll take half of that. Yeah. Because it, blo it is bludgeoning. Four. So yeah, you'll take half of it. 17, half of that is 9. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, did you do any damage to him at all? To me? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, he. That's what I said. He punched him and it caused no damage. Gotcha. It, whatever. Alright, so. We run past everybody else again. Back to you. And you're. Flat on your back, on the ground, between Heath and Felicity. Right here. Oh, uh, and with we're that... Not, I'm not trying to help you up at all. With that, he will step around the tree and stand very, very still. Uh, Alright, I will stand up. Pretty. Look at Felicity. What are you doing, woman? Oh. Would that shaking shake her out of it? Sure. I mean, it says unless you shake somebody out of their stupor. So yeah, you you, you, doing? you come to after seeing these patterns to him screaming in your face. Oh God! Why? Why are you so loud? What happened? Monkey. Did you kill him? No. He just knocked me on my ass. What the hell are you doing? There's a pa pattern. It's it's like a spell, but. What the okay. fuck are you talking about? There's nothing up there. Alright. I'm, I'm awake and I know how to wake people up. So. Yeah, that's your. It's, um, it's his turn. Alright, so let's see. Oh, I'm 
I'm sorry. Add four points of damage at force damage. Um, oh. Marcus. Uh, X. No, agonizing blast. Oh. oh. Gets the charisma on. Right. A question, Dan. Yes. Did that break my concentration on my spell? Yeah, I think so. Uh, charmed and incapacitated. Yeah. Just checking. So, <laughs> so yeah, your 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 nice little floaty weapon disappears as soon as you start looking at the pretty clothes in the air. Actually, your pretty weapon turned into this weird floating pattern. And in your mind's eye, anyway. Yeah. Right. Nice warhammer. Okay, so he leaps from the tree he's in. And vanishes. Is he hiding? As far as you know, he just vanished. Can uh are we still in the initiative? Oh yes, you're still in the initiative. Okay. It is your turn. You are oh, now I awake. I um Okay. Fantastic. Um, about where he left, did I have a second to see where he was last before he vanished, or did I not? Uh, what's your pass? It's a, it's a 13. 13? I would say you would have seen him leap from one tree higher into another tree. Okay. And before um, he disappeared. Um, Gems was hidden, so I don't know where Gems was. Uh, no, he's not hidden. Out. He I'm came not out. anymore. Okay. He came out. I hid, stabbed the guy, and now I'm staring at something, but I'm like 40 feet in a tree. Okay, so I'm going to run to the two. Can I use my action bonus action to move between Thrall and um, Keith? And how many? Thrall? How many attack actions do you have a turn? I have two weapon fighting. So I mean, if you want to slap one with your one weapon and one with the other weapon, you can do that. I didn't, say, I didn't say attack, I said slap. Okay, then yes, then I'm going to do that. Yeah, you just kind of boom. Wake slap, up. Slap him with a flat of the blade or something. One of you get gems. I don't know where that thing went, but I don't know if it's gone yet. And, uh, that's, that's all I'm doing. Alright, draw. Or he's going to come back. What's going on? So where is it? I don't know. It, it went from there to there, but it disappeared. Around and it will attack. Great. So that's all I'll do. Um, I I am going to use Mage Hand to you know, shake uh, Jim. All right. Uh, I'm going to answer your question with a no because Guinness is nowhere near within range of anything but blindsight. He's got 60 feet. That's why I was curious. He, okay. well, you were 50 feet in the air when you got knocked out of the tree and he just jumped to another oh. tree higher up. Oh, okay. I gotcha. So do we go? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Or are we trying to find this thing? Well, I have a feeling it's going to try to find that. Fantastic. We can try to find it. So I'm very convinced. I mean, you know about it. Would, would it just... Did, can it go invisible? Is it just hiding? Would it retreat until it has a better well, chance? It, I mean, it's a spell cast. Yeah, I, I, I didn't see what spell it cast, so I'm not entirely sure what type, but... Um, well, that pattern... Yeah, so... I mean, that was... Crazy to make shapes like that in the air. Hey, it pattern. was. Yeah, only the really smart ones can see it. Huh? <laughs> um. But yes, uh, I don't know where he went. Let's let's just. Can I 
take a perception check? Yeah, you can. Try and see if I see any branches moving or notice any weight on a branch. That is... 11. No, no, you can't seem to figure out anything. Gems, how do you feel about flying up there and see if you can notice anything? I, I can try. I don't know where, but I can try. So in that area, just see if you notice any branches doing anything different than they should. Yeah, it's getting annoying. I don't know what's doing it. Something must be partially disconnected or something. Loose cord. Let's see if that does it. Yeah, I have no spells that can help find it. So. Alright, then we can't, we can't just stay here, so let's either keep moving. Let's well, keep moving. Are we in initiative or? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're still in initiative, and uh, he's next. Okay. Uh, he was going to attempt a perception check to see if he could find where that thing went. Okay. Uh, 15. Um, 15. No, you can't seem to pick it out. Yeah, because he doesn't have some spells, really. So he is just going to stand behind a tree because uh, here then mentioned where it might be. He's got to hide behind it, but being able to see. Uh, he can't hide though, so. Uh, okay. Gems will also, I guess, attempt a perception check into the trees around the area. Hey, 19 plus 5, 24. Nope, you don't see anything. All right. Let's go. So it's now Bryn's turn. He, he will uh, hide as a bonus action, though, and keep an eye out. Okay. That's, that, no, that's not a 28. Bryn? Um, everybody's hiding, right? No. Uh, Heath is next to you in that hide, hiding near that tree. Jim says, I've been a tree, gone again. I'm not oh. hiding, I'm standing out in the open. Okay. Um. I hear me out. I'm going to start beating on my chest, acting like a monkey, growing to my giant size, trying to either intimidate or antagonize him to show himself and attack me so everybody can see where he's at. Okay. It's a very friend thing to do. Kind of mocking him. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. In a way. To a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Right, if he doesn't attack me this round. I did that nice Uh do I need roll for anything? Condition? Persuasion? If yep. you get to a big enough size, do you think you could still shake that tree? Uh well, I get to large size. This is the height I can get. Can I shake that tree then? Well you're Yeah, you can shake whatever tree you want to shake. Whether it's going to be right. good, it's a different story, but yeah. Yeah, but we will right. going to try something. Yeah, I'll do that. Grow big, shake the shit out of the tree. Uh, athletics? Uh, no. Yes, athletics. That'd be at 20, 30, 20. Yeah, you shake the tree, tree just fine. Um, let's see. Let's 
squirrel drops out. Yeah, a couple squirrels fall. Uh, some birds fly away. Squirrel falls on the ground at your feet. Uh, <coughs> um, you see movement shift up uh, in the tree branch about uh, eighty feet in the air. Okay. And you catch a glimpse of him before he leaps from that branch. Another, what was it? Where did you see the jump thing uh, at? Uh, from fifty to eighty feet. Yeah, but it has a bearing on your skills, does it not? Strength. Yeah. What's your strength? My strength is eighteen. Okay. Uh, here's the calculator that I used. I appreciate it because. He is actually under the same. So you put the height, your strength score, and then whatever bonuses you have. And what did you do? Put in Discord? Yeah, Discord. Okay, I just saw your version of hiding. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He jumps from the tree you saw him in um, about 48 feet away to another tree about 18 more 18 feet higher turns back looks at you you hear that clicking noise again and he fires off two more Eldritch Blasts in your direction Well, one of them actually hits you. Yes! I can keep my rage! Yes, I only get two. Alright, yep. so... It's gonna be... 12 points of force damage. And you're knocked back away from the tree by 10 feet. Uh, where did that blast originate? Uh, give me a second. Yeah, he's about uh, I see he's probably more than sixty feet from you, but he's also in the air about what did I say it was fifty. So he's 60, like 90 70, feet in a tree. 90, he's about ninety feet up in the air, and sixty feet, uh, sixty plus feet from you. Each jump takes him forty-eight feet, forty-eight ish feet away from you, and about twenty feet in the air. But he is visible now. Yay. Let's see, is there anything else he can do? Bonus action. No? No, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> oh, I was checking. Uh, right.
Okay. Um, what are we doing? Are we chasing or running? Oh, uh, let's go and try to get him. Try and get him? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to start making my 15, 20, 25, my slow way over. Um, if I go to there... Dan, how far do you think he is from me at this point? He is about 35 feet from you and 90 feet in the air. Okay. All right. All right. So whatever so the a plus a squared b squared equals c squared it ends up being. Bad. Man, no. <laughs> um, all right. Let's see. And I'll. You're what? 35 feet away. Yeah, but if I move another 25 feet closer, then I'm close enough to cast spiritual weapon again. Because it's a bonus action. Um, so I will He's about 96 feet from where you was at, at the 35. Right, but then I'm going to use my action to dash. Yep. And where's my little spiritual weapon? next to it, and we'll try that again. How far away can you cast the spiritual weapon? Uh, spiritual weapon can go 60 feet. Okay, so it's about 30 feet, 36 feet below, well 30 feet below where he's at. He's still 90 feet in the air. I was thinking diagonal would count for something. Well, I mean, yeah, it was 96 diagonal, but since you moved <laughs> forward, it cut it down to say 92 ish. It's still 90 feet straight up. <laughs> Alright, well, that's my turn. That's all I can do. Okay. I will move it eventually. Draw. Um, let's see. It's almost as if it realized that up close and personal is not the way it's going to survive. <laughs> okay. Draw is going to move and in this area, do I see, like, stones or branches or anything on the ground? Yeah, you see some basic debris on the ground. Okay, then I cast catapults. I figured you would. What do you ask? And, and yes, please. Um, I, it, the, whatever item it was is going to travel 90 feet in a straight line. And he has to... A um, deck save. Dex, deck save. All right. And That's my save is sixteen. Yeah, it's gonna be a dirty twenty on his part. Does he take any damage? Okay. Uh, let me double check. Yes. <laughs> the no, helpful. I don't think so. On a fail save, the object strikes the target. Uh, it stops. Uh, it does not say he takes half damage. So. Okay. So Checking. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I rolled a 16, so his deck saves a 30 20. Okay. That is uh, yours. Uh, Heath. What is Heath doing? Uh, he'll move up all 30 feet to there. 30 feet? And he'll look up to where everyone's been firing 30 feet, but he's up 90 feet. What would that be? 90, 94, I guess. Right, is 96 for 35 feet away, so. Okay, so in that case, he's just going to go ahead and cast another spell because he needs to get closer. All right. It doesn't seem to be uh, an issue with um, being countered, so. Okay. Is he scared of babies? Of course not. Nobody is. What about cute? Well, he just collects that. Doesn't make him scared of him. He just collects them. He's got a menagerie of cute babies he keeps in a glass jar. So that or is a uh, glass <laughs> aquarium. <laughs> That's eight points of force damage. Eight points of force. As four magic missiles collide into him. Yeah. Thank you. I'll take it. That's a rabbit. He can't hear me, so why am I even making noises? She can't hear me. Good job. Alright, 
So that was Jim's go? Uh, that was no, Heath's Heath go. go. No, it's Jim's yeah. go. Yeah, Jim's is going to fly over to that tree, attempt to hide. That's a 18. Doesn't seem to see me. Uh, do you think you're hidden? Okay, because then I'm going to fire my short bow, which has a range of 80 feet. Okay. And I'm 40 feet in the air in this tree already. And he's, then and he's only 60, 50 feet away from me. 50 by, f well. 40 feet up, 50 feet far away. Looks like 50 and 50. What's your range? 80. I'm sure you're within 80. Okay. Uh, natural 20. A natural 20 out of 4. Yeah, you're about so 70 feet away. Okay, perfect. So that natural 20 is going to hit, so... I like that. Um, actually, roll that attack with disadvantage. With disadvantage? Wait a minute, wait a minute. You were hidden, so never mind. Disregard that. Okay. Sorry. So... Let it die! <laughs> So what's the damage? Uh, if it's the critical, that's going to be... <laughs> 38 points of damage. Jesus. It doesn't state that I have to see you. says once per short rest when a creature makes an attack roll. Give me a give me a, the disadvantage roll on that. Okay, so that's so I'll just re-roll. I mean I could just take it from the advantage to what it would have been, which would have been a four plus eight instead. Right. Instead of the twenty plus eight it'd be a four plus eight. Thirty eight points of damage. Alright. You also notice it doesn't seem like it took as much damage as you thought it would. Okay. Um, yeah, this, like I said, let me just spread this out for you. It doesn't tell me that I have to see you, but I would assume I'd have to see you. small stones. Alright. Then I'm going to leap. I know I'm going to fail this. But uh, uh, leap to this tree. So that's 54 and 20. Yeah. Basically, jump and then use my action to start climbing up the tree. Okay. That is in. Alright. jump once again this direction wherever the hell he ends up take an action and vanish I my spiritual weapons 
Huh? You moved my spiritual weapon instead of him. Did I? Yeah, I did. Right. Give me a second, I gotta find the spiritual weapon. There it is. He is, he is vanished. I'm not just going to keep chasing this guy through the woods. Let's just go. I'm going to call my spiritual weapon back to me. And, uh, just look and see if my companions uh, agree. He makes the jump, he vanishes, and it's now your turn. And you say you're just... I don't want to chase this thing through the woods. Let's just go. Draw. So we'll go to gems. Uh, I'm just gonna stay. I'm gonna hide, but stay watching over them. Okay. Uh, Twenty-one. Bren. I'm gonna make it to the top of the tree, look around, and holler down to them. Where do you go? Come back down, Bren. We don't know where we went. We're just gonna keep going. Okay. Then I will leap down. Leap down? Yes. And you were at the and top of the tree? Yeah, I don't know how much damage. Just on that. Well, I mean, the, he was already at the, it was already at 90 where he was at before he jumped away. So, you know, I'll just say an even 100 for you. Even 100? Yeah, even 100 feet. feet. Oh. 100 feet up, okay. So. 100 feet, or 10d6. Have. But he has to jump a lot. Yeah. Man, you know what? Let's just do it this way. Nope, that's what I wanted. Click the dice, bring up the number thing so I can type the number in. So with your acrobatics and your your uh, barbarian rage still in effect, well actually is your barbarian rage still in effect because you weren't hit and you didn't attack anything. Well this is end of my turn. Yeah but you didn't hit or attack anything at the end of your last turn. No, I didn't. Fair enough, didn't. Yeah. So no, it wouldn't be in effect. So... We'll say with your athletics and you still take half the damage, but I was going to... So you'll take 12. 12 points of bludgeoning as you land in a three-point, you know, hero pose and all that, but you're like, yeah, I'm going to feel that. Your knees. Your knees. <sighs> it hurts. Uh, so... back on this map. Okay. You're out of initiative and you were trying to head towards the ruins that you guys were discussing, right? Yes. Alright. Um, give me a history check draw. History check draw. Okay. Uh, yeah, no. My rolls are just okay. So, I'm sorry. I was going to thought maybe I'd give you some, you know, information, but it looks like that's not going to happen. Yep. All right. Um, so, yeah, you guys are heading. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, he has a decent idea, even with a 10, why he's probably being hunted. 
It might have something to do with the fact he got shot down, carrying contraband at other locations, you know. Yeah. But I was going to have you roll a history to find out some other information, but... Ah, no problem. Alright, so... How far out did I say you guys were? Three days? You've already traveled yeah. one. So you have two more days worth of travel to get to those ruins. Okay. So give me a uh, perception, whoever's in front, whoever's in rear, and I need a survival for... In the back. And so perception front was a four, survival was a 17. Perception back was a 12. Okay, so first part of the more uh, for, first part of leaving off from your little encounter seems to be going clear. And what was your survival? Seventeen. Um, you and Heath determined that you are still heading on the proper path. You've not deviated. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and zoom in on this. So, for the second part of the traversing, why don't you give me another one? Uh, that's a nine on uh, perception, and then a 23 on survival. Okay. Seven on perception. Alright, so, yeah, I guess you guys are just busy looking at the flowers or something. You're on the right track. You're following, you know, the guidelines to the maps and all that to the best of your ability, but you're just not really paying much attention at the bay than that. Uh, you do notice the wind has stopped blowing, and it is now about 94 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so anybody in metal armor, you're soaked mm -hmm. and probably getting fatigued. Ooh. Cool. That's great. So give me, for right before we uh, call it a night, uh, not us, but you know you guys, mm -hmm. give me another uh, perception and survival. That's a six. I mean, that checks out. I'm sweating. I'm uncomfortable. So that's a nine and then a 24. Okay, nine and a 24. We don't know what's going on, but we're going in the right way. Some changes for the uh, layout here. Alright, so you do notice that the wind is still gone. It's kind of cooled up a little bit because now it's got a light rain going. What you don't notice, on the other hand, where is it? Is the So as you're traversing, you don't notice this. So those who are not keeping track, what are your passive perceptions? Uh, oh, I thought I was bad. Uh, perception 11 for Bryn. Uh, Plus he has blind sight at 60 feet. Okay. So nobody got over a... Over the 13? 13? 13's the highest? Uh, my passive is a 15, but I'm leading the group with survival. Yeah. So... Yep, you guys have no idea. So... 
the sun's starting to go down. What would you all like to do? Uh, would you better find a place to camp? Start and I will cast place. alarm. Yeah, find a place to hunker down. Try and find somewhere out of the rain a little bit, and then set camp. All right. So give me a survival to find out if you get a good spot. I will help somebody. Let's check to see how our weather has turned. Okay. Do you want to uh, roll a d10 to help me? Yeah. Or d20. Yeah. See if you help me. I do. Uh, oh, that is right. a fifteen. That's only a 17, not a survival. 8 and a 12. Alright, 8 and a 12, you said? Yep, so a 17 total. You were able to find a decent spot that doesn't have a lot of run, uh, that, that doesn't run, water doesn't run into. So you're able to make yourself a decent campsite. Um, the only thing left to do is watches, I guess. Uh, ritually cast alarm. Yes, uh, That's alarm has been cast. Okay. And, and all right. Who's up? Uh, uh, go ahead. Guess it will be doing all three watches with everybody since he never sleeps. Yeah, and Guinness is. Guinness Bring keeps looking around. around. During my watch, I will also make sure that Guinness is functioning okay. Yeah, he seems to be functioning just fine. But every time you guys, in, you know, encounter him or deal with him, he's always looking around and up, like he's uh, tracking something. All right, I'll take first watch then. That is a nineteen for Guinness. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Since we should have two people, I'll stay up with um, okay. Tara. Yeah. So that's a 16 for mine, and I'm, I'm kind of focusing. Would I notice that Guinness is? You said we noticed. Yes, so I'm you, kind you of noticed. Where with, Guinness is. You'll notice with your 16 that Guinness is kind of dark. His, his head's like a dog does when it's tracking something that, yeah. you know. So I'll pay close I'm attention a, to those areas. I'm assisting her on her perception. Oh, 22. Alright. So, let's see. You notice at one point in time, Bren's bag starts to open, like, like say he's opening up. Did the alarm catch anything? Nope. Um, because the alarm has certain parameters. That, that's why I'm asking. Um, okay, is how close to Bren is his bag? It's on his side. I want to get. I I let me rephrase that. Bren needs to tell me where it's at. It's and where is it? Like the fanny pack. Okay. So, so it's on him, but yeah. close. Yeah. So it's been opened up, and um, what do you have in there? Uh, I have, let's see, I have a case of fine cigars, uh, a coin that's, uh, on one side, you see sort of like, uh, AI on one side of the coin and on the other you see like a couple of mugs. Yeah, not worried about that. What else is in there? Uh, crowbar, hammer, horn, pit, pitten, rations, rope, fender box, torch, water skin. Okay, so you notice some of his rations are being, uh, start floating up out of the bag. I'm going to take my because um, I have the special cloaks we have so I have my non-magical cloak still. I'm going to try and, like, get close to it, but just <laughs> over where the bags, the stuff's going to be. Okay. And you throw the cloak over what it is? Yeah, and try and, like, hold it down. All right. Uh, what is your strength? Uh, my strength is a 19. 
successful. I'm gonna say you'll be able to hold it down. Because pretty much you're putting more than a certain more pressure. Alright, so yeah, it's just the rations, kind of like where your cloak's at in the middle, and it's just like in the air. And then once you throw the cloak over it, it just drops to the ground. I, I'm looking around because that looks more like a mage hand than anything else. Yeah. So I'm kind of looking around, seeing if I notice anyone. Alright, and what's your perception? Uh, my perception's, uh, I, I have no bonuses. Yeah, you can do an active one. So yeah, saying. you can roll okay. it. Okay. Oh, I didn't know if you wanted to roll it or... No. No, no I'm, I did that. This is your your thing. Yeah. Um. A ten. Nice. If I see that it's just the ration, I'm going to take the ration out, break it in half, and, like, go to the edge of, like, where the alarm is. And hold my hand, like, you know, because you have to break the string, right? So. You just have to it. cross it, right? Well, I'm going to hold yeah, it, like, where it is. She would be one of the people that is not affected by it. You know, that you can specify specific people. And then be like, so. if you're hungry, you could ask. Okay. Nothing happened. Alright, that's... I'll just set it down right on the other side of the uh, alarm and keep watching. Okay. You watching the food? No, like regular watch. Okay. Uh, so... Give me one more perception. And we'll see what happens. And I will assist. Yeah. 17? Okay. Um, it seems clear. 21, um, uh... Yeah, 21 and Venus. Guinness no. is... 3020, sorry. 3020. Even with that, uh, Guinness isn't picking this up. Alright, so when we wake up, uh, the next... Yeah, who's two? next? I, I don't know who's going to be... <laughs> who's next on watch? I assume uh, you and Bren. Alright, yeah. so then when we wake you up, I'm going to tell you what happened. And, and, and when Bren gets woke up, Bren is covered in crumbs. Was that naive again? What the hell? Is that fairy stuff up there in with us? Possibly? Still hungry though. Oh man, still be hungry. Guinness, did you get in my food? Guinness gives you a head shake. So, knowing what's happening, I need to take all of my stuff and like, hug it. Okay. So what about the two, two of you? What are you doing? Um, I'll just keep watch, but I'll be, you know, keeping the flap of my bag closed. Alright. Keep watch otherwise. Uh, are there any trees or anything nearby? Yeah, there's trees around you. Okay, so... I'm actually going to hide and uh, just keep watch that way. Okay. Uh, there'll be a, go ahead. Oh, there'll be a puddle of ooze over my back. All right. See, so yeah, that's a thirty-one <laughs> to hide. <laughs> All right. You think you're hidden? And I see everything with a seven. Yeah, everything. You see it all. Yeah, everything. What, Bran? What was your pe uh, perception? Uh, I'm too busy petting Guinness and saying what a good boy he is. Okay. That neither one of us noticed a damn thing. Alright, neither one of you noticed a damn thing. Alright, so... <laughs> seems five, seems like an uneventful evening. The rest of your night goes by uneventful. Alright. I'm so guessing... We'll eat breakfast. So... Who... I mean, you guys just want to do two watches, I take it? Yeah. I guess, yeah. Alright, yeah. so you gotta get your long rest. Okay. Um, Felicity? Yeah. It's a little hard for you to move when you go wake up in the morning. Am I rusty? You're not rusty. 
You just feel like you have weight on you. Okay, I'll feel around. Yep, you feel scales. <laughs> Following the shape. You come across a rigid head, and as you're moving around, you find another one. And as you reach around, you find another one. And you feel wings. I, uh, I try and reach in my, my bag. You can't get to it because there's something laying in the way. My bag that I was hugging like a pillow while I was sleeping? Yeah, because something's using you as a pillow. I just wanted to, like, get some food. Okay, I'll, I'm going to start to scratch Three around when I think of ears. I mean... You gonna use your eyes? <laughs> I don't know. You said, "Can I?" I don't know if I could turn my head. The you have three of these it. asleep on you, and they're orange. Three orange little dragon. Very things. dragon. Mm-hmm. Okay. They have uh, been with you since um, Guinness was doing the whole darkness head around thing. Yeah. Cool. And how, the reason they didn't set that they're about the size of a. Um, a dog, yeah. I guess, with wings. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, the reason they did not set the alarm off is because they were already inside when the alarm was set. They've been traveling with you since your last failed travel uh, spot check. Okay. All right. Um, they don't seem the... like they've eaten any of us. They no, I like just. Eaten us. Uh, no, Jim's is gone. He's ate, dead, gone. Really yeah, they have, Gems is the only one missing. This was the other race I was thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, uh... But yeah, you wake up, Gems is, is definitely, he is missing. There's no hey. doubt in that. Hey guys? <laughs> guys? Guys? Yeah. What'd you get yeah. those? I have become a bed. They don't seem aggressive, do not attack. I'll reach in my bag, try to find some more, if I have any rations left. Guys, where's gems? Do I see uh, this from the tree I'm in? Yes. Okay. So I'll uh, take a perception check looking for that thing that was attacking us the other day. Uh, no. Yeah, you and don't then see I'll anything. slowly make my way over to them. Do I recognize what those things are? Would I? Give me... Well, you probably would... Both of you give me a history check, and we'll see. Okay, okay, okay. All right. You That's from your book learning, and you from your... 21. Yeah, you've heard of these before. I mean, you've probably had to... They're not something that hangs around with kobolds quite all that often, because of their alignment. But mm -hmm. you have heard descriptions of them. What was yours? I'm probably just in awe of that I'm being used as a pillow by some cute little dragon things because uh, I rolled an 8. Yeah, you, you probably have read about these, but for right now you're just too enamored by the fact that you're being laid oh. on by three orange uh, fire, uh, dra yeah, fairy drakes. Do I like them? Oh, I don't know if you like them or not. They're using you as a pillow. I like them. Uh, no. I, I, I'll, I'll, uh, pull, go ahead. Oh, I'll pull out one of my rations and break it they're still asleep, right? Yeah. Uh, it's okay. I'll just stay here for a while. Give me a, like a give me a D six roll, Tara. Okay. That's a six. Okay. Give me a wisdom save. I don't know if I want. That's a natural one. Okay. Um. So give me another D six roll. Huh? Two? Alright, so one of them takes in a, a breath, and then as it exhales, you see a little bit of, uh, like, a, like a little gas comes seeping out of its oh. little mouth. Oh, maybe we should wake them up. Maybe and, maybe. uh, in the pro, uh, and you, you inhale this, and now you can't move. Yeah, as I'm walking up, I'd say, oh, uh, yeah, no, those things are, they look, 
Very dragon things. They're friendly. They won't hurt you. It's it's euphoria. Yes. You feel euphoric. <laughs> um, I, I will move over toward her and hold out some of the rations. Don't don't make them move away. I'm being very calm. You hold out the. Uh, get, get, I, they're not animals, but go ahead and give me an animal handle check. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, I was gonna. Monster. I was just thinking of persuasion. Well, yeah, you can do that I was, too. I was gonna ask okay. them in Draconic uh, if they uh, were hungry, since he was about to hand them food. Fifteen. Okay. Um. So. With that and your draconic question, the three heads kind of like pop up, flutter their wings, and they uh, extricate themselves from Fel uh, Felicity's. Uh... Oh, <laughs> I think you just locked it up. Yeah, right. not not that something else. Stop. All right, they get up off of her, and they kind of okay. float fly towards where the food is at, and um, you hear them respond in draconic. Yes, we didn't eat enough last night. Big ugly one didn't have a whole lot of food. Big ugly one didn't have a lot of food. Hey! What do you it was intercom. Do you speak yeah, He does. <laughs> she does. Shut up, Brett. Hey! You could have saved me some. What the hell? Um, um, and you snore and your breath stinks, but you know. I want to learn Draconic now. <laughs> I mean, Draconic might not be the only language they speak. Do you speak other languages was my question. Uh, they want to know if you know any other comedy tongue, or this is it. We don't understand comedy, no. Speak other no. But then they start speaking in another language. I start at going Elvish, Dwarvish, Underdark, each in the different languages. I mean, do you speak those languages? Yeah. Which ones? Elvish, Dwarvish, Undercommon. <laughs> and that's it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, draconic, Orc, and then there's Dwarvish, Draconic, Celestial on each side. No, right. none of those. Okay. Um, Go ahead, uh, Draw. Oh, I was going to say, um, with the new build, I do get one extra language. Okay. Um, li listening to everything all have uh, different things. Oh, I'll just say in my history, I have been I have traveled into the sphere of the Feywild. So, how about Sylvan? Yes, that's the other language. Okay. <laughs> I'll put that one in. So, you can speak to them just in a different language than everybody else can. Somebody uh, needs to teach me something. Is there is there anything we can do to help you? No. Or were you just looking for traveling companions? I'm just curious. Don't see humanoids often. Ah. Well, not your kind of humanoid. You're weird. Uh, I'm not from uh, around here. Weren't you a puddle a moment ago? Yes, I was. And you see them kind of look at each other and almost like they're talking to each other, but you hear nothing. And then they turn around and look right back at you. I just right go try and sit closer to them. I think he's got to be right back in 20 seconds. Yeah. I'll be right back. I think a uh, four-legged variety uh, might be. Guinness is acting up. Yeah, Guinness is acting up. Yeah, we'll take a break. Uh, so we'll be back in about, uh, we'll say 10 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go too far. This. So yeah, we'll be right back.
Okay, we're back. And apparently Bren has an idea. Doesn't. Hmm. The player it. does. Bren, unfortunately, does not with a uh, five, so. Gotcha. All right, so you guys are in your campsite. It's morning, and you have three new little friends. What do they say? Where did they come from? From Cotton Eye Joe. Oh, no. Uh, Where did you come from? Where did you go? <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, well, we, we've been traveling in these woods for like a long time. Are you going anywhere particular? No, no. I have no plans. We're going to some rooms north of here. Hmm. Who is north? Don't know them. Haven't been there. Well, if you want to join us, it would be an adventure. Adventure. Mm, I'll take adventure. So, who wants to persuade them to go with? Because this will be a persuasion check. Actually, no, because you put it outside the line so they couldn't get to it. No. Oh, no. <laughs> and they didn't uh, know what you said. Sure. I. They used me as a pillow? Well, like you said, you know, they can't understand you. Um. They ate all my food. Could this be like an animal handling persuasion? I mean. If you're talking to them, I will allow it. And I'll have it? Okay. Would you like to come with us? Uh, I'll try to get more food. Since That's what the slimy one said. Okay. He asked us too. So, go ahead and give me some... Can I uh, be assumed to be assisting in this, then? I mean, that's what you want. If you want to assist Brandon trying to convince somebody of something, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I could <laughs> try to convince them. But, I mean, Brandon, do you have... Um, animal handling as a skill? I have a uh, plus four with advantage on animal handling. Okay, you're much better than I am. So. Yeah, because I had plus two. I mean, you know, so. up until recently, he thought his dog was actually alive. I no, still think he's alive. alive. Well, but, you know, I keep making sure the dog looks alive. 18, 19, 20, 20, 22, animal handling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, well, with everybody's uh, wanting to convince them to come, they do decide to do so. One will go over and land on Draw's shoulder, and wrap one of his, uh, his tail uh, around your arm. One will land on the back of Felicity and do the same thing. Oh. Hmm. Bren, you're the last one. Okay. Uh, actually, you know oh. what? It's between you, you and um, um, Heath? Heath. Yeah. So high or low? Uh, I will go low, low because they did say I just kind of smelled and they probably want to hang out with Heath. All right, so low. Yeah. It lands on, one of them seems to land on you. Sniffs oh, at okay. you, and then lands on you anyway. Oh, I rolled funny. a three. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah. That, that was low, low. Yeah. yeah? Just, just to help it out, uh, there you go. That's a visitation. <laughs> Actually, right. yeah, that works. Oh, thank goodness, you're still my favorite buddy, Bruce. <laughs> all right, so y'all done? Um, I wish I could talk to it. Well, um, I'm going to use my magical tinkering to um, 
create an object that, uh, oh, has nonverbal sounds like chirping and stuff as just a plaything okay. for the one on me. And I'm going to ask, oh, oh, what is, oh, I am Drawl. What is your name? Names? We need names? No. Hmm. Be afraid if they ask you your name. But I, I give him this to see if he's interested in this or her. Uh, yes, seems very interested. Um, they, he tells you, or it, the one you have on you, tells you, they don't really have names. They just there's no need. And, I mean. Mm -hmm. They don't usually speak out loud to each other, so yeah. usually the one you're talking to knows you're talking to it because it's in your head. Yes. Okay. But, I mean, if you want to give names, we, we, we can accept names. Well, let me get to know you a little bit better. All right, so let me write this down. Three fairy drakes, and i got to come up with some sort of personalities. <laughs> Almost like the consequences of your own actions. No, not my actions. The dice rolls. Uh, from your hand. There. Um, what was the word I just said? Personality. Currently, about 42 degrees when you guys go to wake up. The sun is just coming up. Uh, it's somewhat clear, no clouds in the sky. Apparently, the light rain from last night didn't stick. And there's a light wind out of the east again. Alright, well, let's just keep going then. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna keep, like, asking, like, Bren and Gems? Yes. Gems, can you can you help? I don't know how to talk to them, but look at how cute they are. They're so cute. Yeah, and I will keep translating. Is that cool? They're our, they're interesting little things. They are magical, mystical, whimsical. Don't worry, Gems, you're still my favorite draconian <laughs> type animal. Human being? Animal? Being. Dragon being. Animal, I got it, I got it. Alright, so... No! Who's in the lead? Uh, I'd be running the survival. Alright, go for it. Uh, okay. See if he can assist. He cannot, so that is a 19. I guess it'll work. Perception? Uh, b -b -b front perception is a 9. Wait. It's not high, if that matters at all. It's an eight. That Nine. perception is a sixteen. Hmm. Well, it seems in the front he's more focused on the actual reading the map and finding the right way to go. You're keeping, you know, open, keeping your eyes out, even though you have this little fairy drake hiding on your shoulder. And I'll start trying to teach Felicity some words in Draconic. Apparently, you're about to have a busy day. <laughs> why why, why uh, you say that? Alright, so, yeah, as you're traversing along, he's leading, uh, following the map, leading towards the ruins or whatever, uh, you notice movement off to the right of the game trail or whatever you guys are currently traversing mm -hmm. and it looks like a beaver just kind of 
cocking its head sideways and looking directly at you, Felicity. Oh. That's a... Is it a big beaver? Does it look like a normal beaver? It looks like a big beaver. Because that's a pretty big animal with some pretty big buck teeth on there. See that? And it's giving you one of those cock looks to the side, you know. Kind of shambles up closer. Step back. Kind of looks at you. Hi? Hi. Oh, shit. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Did not expect that. As it starts to change shape. To uh, a rather woodsy looking elf. Okay. Where did you find those? They found us. Oh. Odd. Why were you a beaver? Because I wanted to walk in the beaver. I mean, why not? Beaver's are cool. And just seem like the good one to use right now. Where are you going? Why are you here? Uh, that way. Find his parents. I point. Guys? 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 I'm just gonna yeah. make everybody stopped moving. <laughs> yes. I don't just like talk to this thing and let them just continue, you know? Uh, turn around. Where did the beaver go? go? I know. Uh, yeah, so, uh. Hi. Hi. We're not here to cause any problems. We're just, uh, trying to find our friends' par parents and get back home. Uh -huh. We're not from here. Uh -huh. I don't know. Probably stick out like a sport thumb. Are you gonna hurt us at all? Not many things have been nice, to be fair. And I well, just wanna know. I mean, well, that, that all depends. Nice. That all depends. I mean, I might be able to help you out, but I mean, you gotta do something for me first. You're going to the rooms to the north. Okay. Uh, I don't care about those. Oh, so probably don't want to help us then. I mean, not with the ruins, no. I'm trying to stay clear of that place. But um, I might be able to help you out with something else if you do me a favor. What favor? A favor. Well, Clear out this infestation. Infestation? Uh, yes. Infestation. You know. Do you not know what an infestation is? But of what? Is yes, but the of question. what? Oh, did I not tell you? Knowles. No. Oh. Yeah. Knowles. No, lots of knolls. Lots of knolls. Mm. Yeah, they're chopping down the trees and destroying the foliage and chasing off my animals. Uh, how do you talk to them to see if they would stop. Why would you talk to a knoll? Well, we ran into a couple of lizard folk and apparently the knolls that we ran across were also friendly, but we hid from them. Uh, they were part of a dust hunter clan, but it was wiped out. Maybe these are similar? Mm. They were friendly. These aren't friendly. They tend to attack the elf hunting parties whenever they see them. Maybe that's mm. between you two. What type of help would you be able to provide if we clear out this infestation? The magical kind, of course. I mean, I'm a druid. What kind of magic? Druid kind. Like, specifically. Fine. I have... Huh? What? I have in my possession an item that I have found that I can't use. You get rid of the gnolls and I can give you that item. Easy as that. You do me a favor, I do you a favor. Allow us to first check out the gnolls areas. If we can get them to leave peacefully, that's okay with you? Just get rid of them is all I want you to do. I mean, it's easier just to, you know. Where are they? But can we scout it out? Gents, how do you feel about scouting? I'm fine with scouting. It's, you know. Uh, where are the gnolls? Well, last I saw them, they were closer to the river about, uh, I don't know, a quarter of a day's march west. Okay. How will we get a hold of you? I have a feeling you'll get a hold of us. 
find you. I don't know if you did it. What were my friends telling me? Shake on it. Proper deal. That works. And, uh. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what a handshake is. You reach out, he shakes, and as he shakes, you start seeing feathers flying all over the place. As he turns into like a black crow and flies up into the tree. Couldn't we have got good. payment before we went? They're not going to give us one item if we could just leave. Let's uh, go at least see what this is. If nothing else, maybe we can get some provisions off these mills. We're running low on rations. Yeah, I've got one more. Okay, yeah, because somebody just saying. I would give you Tell all the what? rations. Yes, I would. What are you trying to say, stinky one? That's how I'm doing. By the way, pussy, yeah. to say hello to him, you say, I yawn, satisfied. Inside check. So Why don't you whisper in here what that says? Yeah, three of us would know what that is. <laughs> this is actually from the Draconic Seven. Cancer. Seven. That's a seven. Seven. I'm going to look at um, actually only two of you because Draw doesn't speak Draconic. Keith is here technically. And he does. Okay. Keith, what did he just say? Oh. I don't know yet. Uh, I ain't been shown. And I'm not looking it up. <laughs> Alion is hello. Zarafar is asshole. Checks out. Yeah, yeah I'm not saying that. You're lying. Like first yeah, word. Lying. Alion or whatever. <laughs> Alicorn. No, that's not right. Terrible. Alion. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'll I'll really bad. Realize when or uh. So many people spoke Draconic. And you know what? I would probably have Keith teaching me Draconic. Probably. He'd actually <laughs> probably write, be writing you write down in a book for you. And, yep. Yep. And you, he'll... Uh, I'll have to study it. You'll be stuff, like but saying it a certain way. But no, no, no. Not like that. you got to roll it a little more like this. Or make it feel... Yeah, like it's coming out of your throat. A little harsher. A little harsher. There you go. Like you're trying to hock up a loogie. <laughs> And of course, he teaches you all the cuss words first. I know that from him. I trust him to teach me that first. Especially since he didn't like it when he made me cry in the beginning. <laughs> all right. All right. So. Um, yeah, we'll head head up quarter day or half day or whatever it was uh, towards the west. Quarter day west. Oh, I just realized yes. I put that in. Twitch. Uh, yeah, Twitch. <laughs> That's that. Okay. That's Have a yorn. Have a yorn. Have a horn. No. No. A, a the corn. No? A corn? No. no. Okay. I'll keep trying. Why don't you give me a... Not science. Give me a, a basic intelligence check. Okay. All right. My negative one intelligence. Sure. That's a that's an eight. Yeah, you're still screwing it up. Yeah, I'm not good with languages, but I'm trying real hard. And I tell you, you just tell tell them that I'm trying. Yeah. yeah. And I'll show him his dragon. So, you guys go to try to hunt down where these are at? Yeah, the knolls. Yep. Alright, so... How do you want to do it? Stealthily. Yeah. How stealthily were you looking? Okay. Uh, 25 and an 11 plus 4, so 15. As soon as you guys start to try to sneak, the fairy drakes vanish. Do I still feel the weight? Oh yeah. Yeah, I like it. Uh, I forgot my twitch.
great, so I picked up a leaf. And you see a bite taken out of the leaf. I get yeah. the rashes, I can't breathe. And you hear in Draconic, you can't hide like that. I, I, I don't know. Do you make me disappear too? You roll stealth with advantage. Oh. Two. And nine. <laughs> All right. That so nine times better than everybody before. hears your crunching feet where uh, you're at, but they also hear it echoed like 20 feet off to the right. And then okay. those who speak Draconic hear, well, I tried and. I guess it ain't gonna work. You're too heavy step, heavy footed. I appreciate it. It's okay. He cast minor illusion to try to create the sound of your footprint, footsteps somewhere else. Oh. And what did you do on your um, listening? Nineteen. Oh yeah. So yeah, you're you're gone. You're hiding just as well as uh, Gems is, as far as you're concerned. And draw roll day what? Twenty two. Twenty two. Yeah. So, Bren's by himself. Oh, no. What was I saying? He has his dragon strike. He's not alone. That's true. Yeah, but he is definitely out in the open. Yeah, well, that's not. Yeah, that's me stealthing. Right there. All French. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being quiet, y'all. <laughs> All right. So, you, as a group, you guys did a decent job in stealthing. Uh... I will say, you know, you stop Bren from stepping on a big twig and making a lot of noise. So, as a group, you guys are you guys think you're hidden. Okay. How after, many do we see? Oh, and after a while, you come up to you smell the smoke in the air and you see a campfire. You see some trees that have been chopped on that aren't chopped down yet. Uh, and you see if I get to the right page. Hmm. You see little pockets. Uh, this group over here has like maybe 20 in it. There's another campsite off to the left that looks like it has another 15 in it. And there's another little campsite that has 13 in it. You know, just look at them. I don't know if this would be um, inside or something, but just while we're sitting or looking at them, just looking at their demeanor and attitude, um, do they look like they are hostile creatures or something that could be approached? Are they, I mean, are they just being old? Give me, they give me an insight. Uh, do they have any? Uh, no. Oh shit! You've yeah, never really dealt with other... gnolls before on this planet, so you're not real yeah. certain. But yeah. we have. Uh, we let two pass. Yeah. Do but any of these look familiar? The colors or anything? No, no, none of these look like any of the uh, others that you've seen in the past. No markings, no colors. Honestly, their markings are more. Um, blood markings in their fur, like they've marked their fur with uh, animal blood or, or something. That's not a good sign at all. No, it's not. Um, it's not. Um, I can uh, go take a look around and see if they have any dead humanoids, elves, uh, 
any of the sort. Or, or was, like a lot of animals because the druid seems to favor animals, so they would take that as a hostile as well. I was just thinking maybe that they were trying to make a you know a living, and the elves pushed them out of the area, and that's you know they just don't like the elves. Maybe. It, it, does it look like they're taking care of the area they're making a camp or like they're just like using the area and well just, like, like I said them? you've come across trees that are near their area that's just been chopped on like they just swing an axe to hit it and just swing an axe and hit it it sounds like the storyteller is telling us that these are not friendly gnomes um I will say with looking around you'll notice that they might have had a a rabbit or something that's been pinned to a tree and they've been shooting at it with uh, bolts. I don't like them. Okay, but so they gotta are, we, on something. are we attacking from stealth or are we gonna talk to them? We should try first and see if they'll leave. Do, does one group look like they have like a chieftain or something like that with them? Yes, the bigger group. The tw it's got like 23 in it. Uh, 20, 20, 15, like 15, 30. 20, yeah, 20, 15, and 13, my bad. <laughs> okay, um... Is that right? 20, yes. <laughs> um, okay. Maybe we should try and talk to it first. To them first? I don't... <sighs> yeah, we should talk to them. What? Both of you talked at once. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Kurt. I was going to say, I could try and go talk to him. If things kind of get pear-shaped, I could probably get out of there a little easier. Okay. And we could be ready to back you up. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's do Let's do that. And then I will also... Um, save for that's not going well... Plus, I don't think any of us speak null, so that's not going to help things. No. Um, I'm just gonna cast, yeah, no, I'll wait. Yeah. Okay. I can, yeah, no, let's, let's try that first. If we can do it without causing bloodshed, great, but if they even motion to hurt you. Heath will ritually cast comprehend languages because that'll last for an hour. You won't be able to speak it, but I'll be able to understand what they say. Okay. And actually, before you leave, just uh, in uh, case, because I doubt I'll be uh, able to do it later for you, uh, I am going to cast uh, Magic Weapon on uh, Okay. Uh, on what, my bow or my uh, short sword? Your bow. You usually use your bow, don't you? Uh, yeah. If I uh, don't uh, have to get surrounded by them, I can be at range, but... Uh, okay. I don't know why it's giving me damage, but... It'll be a magical weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna scout closer in uh, what? Uh, I'm gonna scout closer stealthily with the 25, and I'm gonna go towards the bigger group. Okay, so you need it stealth roll. Okay. Uh, 27. Yeah, you think you're hitting. Fine. You get fine. closer, and uh, you do see like a group of them um, tearing out animal pieces and just eating eating it raw. Well, that's I mean, not surprising. Gems would be down with that, so. <laughs> uh, the area has been cleared of trees, and it's like they just they cut a few they cut them down and are burning them for firewood or just leaving them laying around. I mean, I don't, uh, what what exactly do you th what looking for? I'm looking for the chieftain, or somebody that looks like they're of higher standing, maybe a shaman or a leader. You see one that's sitting in a throne made of some of the wood that was left from the trees. Okay, I am going to wait until there's not as many around them as there could be, but then I will uh, try and sneak a little closer and see if I hear them talking about anything. I won't understand it, but... You hear the basic yips and and hollers when they're making noises. That's their language. Yep. So, I will actually... A couple of them start slashing at each other. Like, one got too close to another one's food, or... 
They all stink. Yep. Need so a rot on them. Can, can I? Can we prepare actions while he's going in there? I'm sure. What you want to prepare? Um, I'm going to prepare to cast. If it looks like it's getting a uh, kind of, oof, I'm going to prepare to cast bless on the people here, so that way we have good uh, helps all right. for the attacks. So I activate my ring. <laughs> Noted. Draw, do you want to prepare anything? Uh, yes, I'm going to be preparing to shoot. How far away am I from everybody at this point? From them? From your group? Yeah. Well, they'll say about 100 feet. Okay. Uh, okay. Because, okay. you know, you don't want to be too close to them. Yeah, yeah. I can do 90 in a turn if necessary. So. I will uh, find a spot that's kind of open and in line of sight with the chieftain. Mm -hmm. And then I will let my presence be known to them with, you know, no weapons, no nothing drawn. And I will ask if the leader speaks common or orc. Okay. Or draconian. Well, for initiative. Okay. Uh, could my action have been to dodge before I I'll let it. myself be known? Okay. Uh, Alright, so that is just four. Well, we don't have any mini. Just to my track initiative. Order, but... Hold on, stay where you're at. Yeah, we want just mine to start out with. Don't. Yeah, no, I'll give them all because they already oh, said okay. they're preparing actions. All right, and oh, that's go. not as bad. So. That's not horrible. I'm gonna keep. I'm not gonna roll the other one. Change my initiative. I don't think I do. I don't. Perfect. Let's pop in the token layer so that I can see him. I'm using him as a marker, so don't don't let that fool you. All right. Um, it's going to be more theater of the mind. The only reason I came to this map so you actually roll your initiative. But um, there's like I said, about twenty of them in this this camp. Around a fire, then they have spears that seem to be rather rickety in appearance, rusty tips, and a few of them are got light longbow, really cheaply made longbows laying next to them. So, with the initiative, are we all rolled? Yep. yep. Alright, so let me pop in descending. Uh, so, yeah, as soon as you pop in the visibility and you are in the dodge action. Um, nothing has happened yet. Mm -hmm. it, what's Heath doing? Because uh, he's the only one that didn't actually say he prepped something. Uh, he had comprehend languages going, so he would be able to understand what's being said. So he's waiting to so see what they say. He's listening to hear whether kill, murder, death, or that's exactly what, what are you doing here. Okay, cool. Just, before, so just as their turn goes, um, you hear the chieftain point at you and say um, fresh meat kill the intruder he will let you all know that uh, they're hostile and would Second. that have been his action holding before he could cast anything uh, well that's his way of responding to what's going on, he said he's going to see what they said and I will yeah. allow him to say that but it's their turn Okay, perfect. right away that, I'm it. casting a second level turn. bless so all four of us that are close enough to me right now, we'll have less. Mm -hmm. And before I roll what they're doing, there were actions uh, also held. So as soon as Heath says they're about to attack gems, uh, your actions can go off if you wish to. Alrighty. You said you activated your ring. Yes. Which means your Jumps. ring is activated. Yeah, and at this range, I'm at long range, so I'll be at disadvantage for this wall. Yeah, you're like 100 feet out yeah. from the main guy. What is, what is your long range? Uh, 240. What is your medium? 80. Yeah, so yeah, it will be. Yeah. So, um, let me roll. Uh, Don't forget to add that D4 to your attack roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And uh, I'm just going to pop that out there for you. Okay, yes. But, sorry, a two, a 2 is not going to do anything, uh, even I think with... But let me see what the 4 will do. Did you roll what? Hold on. I rolled a 2. Uh, 6 plus um, 7... Oh, okay, 13. so cheating. 13? 13? 13, yeah. 13 to hit the chief. To hit the chieftain, okay. Um, no, it misses. Okay. Got close, but it misses. Yeah. All right, so now it's their turn. Um, with the shots being fired, uh, three of them turn towards you. You can see the, what is there, four of you there now? Yeah. Yeah, he's only at a 15, so he wasn't hiding. I'm just going to well. use the button. All right, so... Draw is an 8, Heath, that's a 7, that's a dirty 20 to Felicity, did it hit you? Uh, 22, yeah. 20 does? Alright. You can take 8 points of damage as an arrow pierces you. That's 3, it, you know what, I'll we'll even do though one I was more. Hitting? You cast Bless, so you're no longer hidden. Oh, okay. Right. When your yeah. spell goes off, it unhides yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, seven to hit Bren, and that's a miss. All right, so that leaves... The Chieftain starts yipping as loud as he can. Uh, the other ones, I guess, try to attack you. And it's not letting me roll... I have to roll a concentration. There we go. All right, yeah, so I rolled a 15 on my concentration, so I still have less up. 12 misses you, right, Jims? Mm -hmm. Yep. But the 19 does it, right? Uh, the 19 indeed will hit. All right, you'll take four points of piercing. Okay, I will take it. 15? Miss. Oh, I forgot there's like a billion of them. Okay, a natural one, so... This guy stabs one of the archers in the back. Uh, 19 for 3. That'll hit. A few more. 12. Miss. 7. Miss. I think this is the last one. And 11. Miss. Alright, and this is going to be without disadvantage. And it's still a miss. Not to you. You notice the one that got stabbed with the spear is turned, and now those two are actually fighting each other. Okay. And that was their go. Uh, you'll notice that the other two encampments are now stirring. And uh, once they start moving, it won't take long for them to get in fight. So, Felicity. Okay, cool. Um, you said we're about 90 feet away? 90 to 100. Okay, I'm going to start moving that way. So I'm going to move 50 feet closer. That's a action, movement. I have concentration up, so that's all I'm doing. I'm just trying to get closer. Okay. All right, Jim, so you are now surrounded by about 11 because two of them are fighting each other. I am going to go ahead and out of my pocket crush a red uh, corundum and summon a fire elemental as my action. Alright. Do you, need, you got that brought up? Yep, I got it brought up. And then I am going to bonus action, I believe is what I'm going to do to disengage. And movement, I'm going to be 30 feet uh, up. All right. And at an angle, I'm going to try and get back towards the group. Okay. Noted. Uh, so, Bren. I'm going to come in like a wrecky ball. All right. How fast, First, how far can you move? Uh, well, I can be 30 feet. Then with a running start, I'm going to end up enlarging. So you can get your 50 feet. Yeah. So that means you're 80 feet, feet. So it's still 20 feet away from the, of the group. Yeah. 
Uh, but before I do all that, I'm going to tell little buddy he may want to get on the dog for this. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as soon as you mention something about you, you feel the weight lift off your shoulder. Alright. Charge in. And as I land, I'm just going to let out this roar and then go into my rage. Okay. Elemental go on your turn. Uh, I had to roll initiative on it for my own. That's what the spell there. states. Oh, well, yeah, the spell just states that it goes on its own initiative. All right, so let me go ahead and add that in there for you then. Yeah, it goes on twenty-one. So it's basically in my spot, and I just popped out of there. Okay. And I'll just tell it to uh, kill the chieftain. As I leave. Okay, where was I? I was on. All right. Um, so, Brain, you've done all your things. Um. There's nobody Martin. currently within range to be able to hit or grab. Uh. Yeah, that's my action. Oh. Draw. Um. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I might as well do it now. Uh, what is it? Um, I will go into action surge. Use the action to get in the group of everybody. Okay. So you just use action search to do another move action? Yeah. Alright, draw, you're up. Elemental's next. Okay. Robert? Uh, Sorry, we still had dogs barking. So, um, I am going to move up just a little bit. damage did you cause him? 11. Elemental is next. Alright, so it's going to move up and whelm the uh, chieftain, which he is going to take 9 points of fire damage right off the bat. He is now on fire and will continue to take that damage on his turns. And the elemental will then proceed okay, to so make to yeah. two attacks. So, uh, he will flank with uh, Bren, though, just a little bit. So, he goes through his space and then flanks with Bryn for two attacks. That's a 15 on each die, so a 21. Mm -hmm. And then a natural 20 for the second. So, first attack is 7 points of damage. Second attack is 
22 points of fire damage. And, uh, yeah, so moved into his space, gave him damage, two attacks, gave him more damage, and he's on fire. So at the beginning of his turn... What was the damage for in his space? Uh, it was nine. What's the grand total damage you would have caused? Uh, over 30. And how much over 30? Uh, what did I say? Nine... 21 is 30, and then it was 33 plus 2d6. I can reroll those 2d6 if you want. No. No, I yeah. didn't catch the 9, I think. I had you right at 40. Okay. So, yeah. um, Jeepton's on fire. And he will continue to be on fire. He can oh, yeah, no, no, his to... body is on fire. Oh, perfect. Uh, then With the eleven, the and then well. your forty-something uh, damage, yeah, you you've taken the chieftain out of the fight. Perfect. Now it'll just turn its attention to other things. Okay, what's Heath doing? Uh, Heath, he will. Uh, so that you said there's a big Summon concentration. Summon twenty-nine little t -break. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you said there's a Fireball. concentration of them. So yeah, you got a concentration of 15 on one side, 13 to the other, and then... Guys, we don't want to set the like force. 20 of them here. Uh, so, he is going to get as many in this encampment as he can in a 20-foot cube. Alright, the only problem with that is he will only be able to adjust it to hit... He's going to hit one or both of you two. Uh, it's a, actually, it's a 20-foot sphere. Uh, so, he is going to cast sleep, though. So it's not going to be damage, it's going to be sleep. He's going to try and knock them unconscious with sleep. Mm. He will walk forward 10 feet to be within range to cast that spell. Okay. Uh, what level is the spell? Second. He is 90 feet away from them. And what is, what's the dice roll he'll have to make? Uh, it's going to be... I'm double checking. Uh, using this at a spell slot of second or higher, roll an additional. So 7d8 total and you said there was so he uh, has a possibility he has around. a possibility of knocking um at least two out okay All with right. that now let, i mean i'm just saying he knows that a sleep spell might get two he doesn't have a whole lot else he can really do uh, he can either knock two out or try and take one out of the fight. Um, I'm just giving you your options. As a casualty, yeah. would know that you know the sleep spell is only going to do that much. Yeah, uh, he's, he'd have to get a lot closer, and he can't get in range of anything else okay. on this turn because all of his other stuff is 60 feet or less, unless he uses magic missile, which is just. Boop. So go ahead and roll, roll the uh, dice. All right, so. What's Bren's current hit points? Bren is currently at 68. What's the hit points of the uh, fire elemental? 102. Okay. And James is 50, so that's 29 total. So, and it starts at the lowest. And yep, one, one passes out. Alright, so that's one out of the fight. So... That's, uh, he will then move forward 20 more feet to be within 70 feet of everybody that's out there fighting. That's, that's him. Alright, um, that's him. You're in the air. I'm 15 feet high. in the air. Yeah, it's 15 feet in the air. Yeah, I'm not very high. Um... We'll say... Okay. Uh, Chieftain went down, so six of them will start trying to attack the um, fire elemental. Alright. All the damage will be halved if it's not magical. It's not magical. Okay, so everything that hits him will be halved. He's got a super low AC of 13. Uh, okay, so it's going to be... Why does it say a total of 10? 
Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. All right, so it's be five points. You can have it there. So two, and that one takes nine points of damage. Okay. Because they hit a fire element. That'll take half of eight, so it's four. Four, and that one will take four points of damage. So that's six on you, that leaves the chieftains down, so... But they flee, they're scared to run, no? And uh, they are... Uh, I'm gonna double check, but I believe they are all on fire now because they attacked the fire elemental. Yeah, those six probably are. So yeah, they have to use their action to douse the flames or continue to take damage on their turn. So next round they will continue. 13, 13 left. Alright, so we'll fire volley of arrows from f 1, 2, 3. We'll just fire three times to you guys. So draw first. Yes. And it's to 5 to hit. No. Felicity, it's a 19 to hit. Yeah. 9 yep. points of piercing. And Heath. That's an 11 to hit Heath. Misses. Alright, good. Well, whatever. Uh, so at least 10. Um, hold on. So we got two that are attacking each other. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Who was attacked is not doing a very good job of hitting back. The one who is attacked nailed him twice. Uh, so that leaves three, five, five left. No. Eight. Eight left. One that's yeah. unconscious. Yeah. Seven left. Seven. So, seven. We'll take two longbow shots at you in the air. It's going to be a miss. It's going to be a 13. Miss. Alright, so then we'll have the other five spear attacks against... Uh, well, since you're flanking you, against uh, the big guy. And you raged, so... 12's a miss. 12's a miss. 17's a miss. 17's a miss. That's a okay. That's a twenty-three. That hits. Yep, you'll take seven piercings, so half of seven is four. All right. And it's the third one. Fourteen is a miss. Twelve is a miss. All right. Yeah, they're not doing very faring very well against you. Uh, the other two groups move in. Uh, you'll have 13 more in the melee at the end of next turn. So, Felicity. Um, how, so I had moved 50 feet. Did any of them move closer to us as well? No, they're shooting at you with the bows. Okay. So, I'm still, if I move 25 more feet, I'm still about 15 feet away from them, correct? Mm-hmm. to use. Oh, okay. Um, well, I'm, I'm, 
I still have bless up. I was gonna say, did you make your concentration? I did. I, did. I have rolled a fifteen and a sixteen. Okay. Um. So I still have bless up. So that's good. I'm going to take my. I'm going to move 25 feet forward to get closer. So I'll still be 15 feet away. Mm -hmm. I'm going to attack with my bow, uh, which is an 80 foot range. So it should be good. Uh, that's not good. It's only a 10 to hit. 10 does not hit. All right. I'll keep my bless up. So. All right, gems. Uh, looking at what's going on, I'm going to look down and uh, see that some are attacking Bryn. So I'm going to go ahead and try and help out Bryn. And you said this entire area was cleared. Entire area was cleared. Of uh, trees? Yes. Yes. Uh, was there rain, you said? Uh, no. Actually, the rain didn't uh, last very long last time. Okay, so it's clear out. Sunshine. Mm -hmm. All right, so normal roll to hit. Uh, 16 plus 8 to hit the one standing next to Brent. Yep. And that's going to be 7 points of damage, Brent. So that would be right about there, then. Okay. Okay, and 7 points of damage? Not Brent, the one that's next to you that's attacking <laughs> you. That's 15. And then, uh, <coughs> can I use that? Or does that be. Yep, nope. All right. I can't do sneak attack damage, but I will fly up 30 feet at 60 feet. I'll stay within 80 feet of the ones in the ground, so I'll, I'll be in the air, but within bow range of myself. But I'm going to be high up. Copy it. Bren? Alright. I will grab one of them. Plus four, plus d4. D4. Yeah, I don't need my D12, so it's 15 plus 7, so 22 athletics rifle. Oh, yeah. Right. I'm not even going to roll. Okay. I don't I'm just saying twice. with a natural 20, I couldn't beat it. The uh, first attack was a 13. To hit or 13 damage? The hit. Yeah, no. So, the second attack would have been 18. That hits. What I'm seeing. Uh. No. Uh. Six. Ten points of damage. Now I'm gonna say it's not nice to mess with Mother Nature. Now is this one that has already been hit? Uh, sure. We'll do the one that he shot. All right. You break his jaw and his head rolls to the side. Now toss him to the side. Who's next? <sighs> Draw. Hey, I. up and I'm going to shoot one of the ones that is uh, beside Bryn and then I'm going to try to telekinetically push another one. Um, oh, I still get the... Bless. Yeah. Bless. With bless. With bless you actually hit. Yeah, buddy. I'm useful. Kind of. points of damage to that one. Alright. And if he is still alive, I'm going to telekinetically push him into the room. Uh, so it's a DC 15 strength save. Or get pushed back. Alright, he's pushed back into the river. Elemental's turn. Uh, yeah. So Elemental goes. It's uh, gonna get... Uh, would you say that there's like five around Bryn, there's one on him, and then four in a square? There's six, six around the elemental. 
then it will whelm uh, as many of them as it can with uh, moving into their space. So how many would that be? Um, I guess you get all six if that's all it takes is just moving. Yeah, I just have to move into their space and then they'll be on fire. Well, what's the uh, elemental speed? Uh, I'll play, um, 50. Oh yeah, you have no problem getting all of them. Alright, then I'll roll one takes two points of fire, one takes eight points of fire, one takes three, the other takes seven, that's four, three, and four. Okay. Just, and then he's going to hit the one that looks most burnt up and crispy. Alright. Uh, twice. So that's dual 19s plus 6. Yes, it's a 15 to your the number you're looking for. Alright, so then it's going to be 11 points to that one. Mm -hmm. And 8 uh, points. Hold on, 11 points, that one's gone. Okay, then he would have hit another one. Yep. And that was the same number, 19 plus 6, and uh, 8 points. I believe is what I said. Alright, that one's still living. Alright, and he's on fire, so at the beginning okay. of all of their turns, they will take another d10. Alright, so he throw. Uh, he is, you said that there was 13 moving up and 15 moving up? Oh uh, yes. Alright, so he is going, he can get 16 in the web if they're all clumped together. Because mm, 16. 20, right? Uh, it's uh, uh, 16 or something like that in a, in a Four by four square, because that's a twenty foot cube. Okay. And, there's, and he's going to get as many of them as he can. And, and that's going to be a, a deck save on oh, no. On their turns. Well, that's so, turns yeah. next, so I'll kill all that. Yeah. So he's going to try and get as many of them in a web as he can. So he's going to cast one a web, and then he is going to move and try and get cover. Do you go uh, for 13 or 15? Uh, it's a 15. Uh, deck save. No. Oh, um, which group's closer? Um, they're both pretty close. We'll say the 15. Okay, so yeah, he'll go for the 15 to try and get them stuck or at least slow them down. Okay, and the DC was, you said on that? 15, so it looks like 2 made it, unless they've got a plus three. 2 or plus 3, then more made it. Yeah, but you have a 19, a 19, and a 20, so that's all of them made it. Alright, and then they will be restrained if they did not make the save on the turn. And the ones that did, it's um, difficult terrain. Okay, so, so now it's their go. Those three will move closer, but now that they get moving through the web, they will not be there at the end of this round, like okay. uh, initially spoken. There are currently... Seventeen up. Let's see. He's gonna take care of the two that are fighting each other first. Okay. Well, the one that started the fight has just killed the other one. All right then. The one who accidentally poked his buddy with a spear at the very beginning of the combat. Yeah. Yeah. He finished that. Did it again. Off. Yep. He, well, no. This time it was on purpose. No, I mean, once he st stuck him the first time, the other one turned and started attacking him. Now, they, those two are fighting each other. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And I just rolled a natural 20 on that attack. Did that oh, done? nice. Alright, so... How many are currently on fire? At least six. Six. Okay. Yeah, six on fire. So give me their damage. Uh, it's going to be th those individually. Well, it looks like only three of, two of them, three of them are still alive. So that's going to be one, two, three. All right. And they're not looking good anyway. So that's uh, seven, uh, 13 more. You had, no, I didn't count that one was taken out right there. All right. So you had five on you. One was taken out. So you still have four on you. So those four are going to attack. They shift around to try to get advantage because they need all the advantage they can get with your big ass. Fifteen's a miss. Yep. 
19 for 8 points, so 4 points. Alright. Uh, 19 again for 2 points this time. I already halved it. Uh, That's 3. One more. And that's a miss. Alright, so that was four out of. I say that was 17. Nope. Four out of 12. So at least eight. Alright, uh, firing a two draw. Okay. It's going to be a 19 to hit you. You will hit me. You take three points of piercing damage. Felicity. RM 30 feet of me. Um, 12 at the moment, I think. Okay. Felicity, 19 to hit you. Yeah. Six points piercing. Alright, let me check this. Yep, yeah, it's 12, so I still have. Less is still going. Yep. Alright, so that was 4, 5, 6. Um. Those three are going to try to run from the uh, fire elemental. Uh, he'll take one attack of opportunity. Alright. Uh, nine plus six, fifteen. He's right on it. Um, then that's going to be three plus eight er, for eleven. Okay, yeah, that one falls to the ground uh, after he gets smacked in the back and just flares up with fire. <sighs> so... I don't feel like I'm missing something. That was four. A bunch were stuck in the... Six. Five. So I think two against you. Two long range shots. Against uh, gems? Yes. Okay. I'm within range. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, their range is 150 to 600, so yeah. Yep. Yep. 17. Yeah, copy that. I rolled a six and a 13, so you are definitely safe. I think that's it for them. Felicity. Oh. Um, Alright, so am I... The other group of 13 are pretty close to... They'll be there at the end of this turn. Okay, so... The group with the 13. Who else is... is are any of my... No. Um, no? Okay. There's nobody in that go. group. They're, 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 saying they're just close enough they'll be here at the end of the turn. Okay. I have 25 feet of movement. Am I... I mean, I can get to this area... And you'll be within range, within 30 feet of them. 30 feet? I thought I only had 15 feet left. No, no, no. 30 feet of the 13 coming towards you. Oh, yeah, no. I, I don't care about that. Um, what about the, uh, the group that's already there? How many are left? There are currently, it looks like 11 left. A bunch. Can I get, like, right in the middle of them without being directly next to any of my friends? be a little hard to do since Bryn is pretty much in the middle of them right now. Uh, three of them are taking off running from a fire elemental. So that leaves you with... Nine? Yeah. Three, three is running. Then you're left with eight. Four yeah. of them are on Bryn. Two of them shooting at the gems and two of them are shooting at you guys. Are the groups of two close together? Yeah, they're pretty close together. I want to get, like, as many of them directly around me as I can. Alright. Uh, how much space do you need? Five feet. Okay, well, in that case, you're only going to be able to get the two. You could hit the elemental if you need to. Yeah. Right. Well, the elemental um, is not close to anybody right now because they took off running. That's okay. Um, I'm going to uh, cast the cantrip sword burst. Yep. So I will need them to make, both of them to make a dexterity Do you see? 14. Yeah, they didn't make. So that is 2d6 because of level 5. That is a whopping 6 force damage. Alright. Um, and then for my bonus action, um, yeah, for my bonus action, I'm going to expend one of my channel divinities to get uh, that spell slot back. Alright, let's see who's next. Gems. Uh, I'm 
gonna look down at the ones that are on Bren and how bad are they looking? Uh, let's see. Those don't have. They, they seem to be in pretty decent shape. Okay. Uh, what about the ones around Felicity? Um, those two. You just cost how much damage? Six. Yeah, they're not bloodied yet. Uh, then I'll go ahead and help out the one on Bren. Uh, either one of them. Alright. Uh, 23 to hit. Oh, yeah. Uh, 8 points of damage. Alright. Oh, wait, did I do that right? Uh, 3 plus 5, or 3 plus 2 is 5, and plus 5, 10 points of damage. I've been doing it wrong. That's okay. 5 points, right. 10 points of damage to the he is He is now close to being bloodied, but not quite. And remember, your weapon is still magical if it's revived. Yep, and yeah, that's All right, Bren. what that is. Alright, pick up the next one. You want to pick up a fresh one or one that's been, looks like it's been hit? I'll pick up a fresh one. Alright. That's uh, an 18. Go for it. Alright. For the first hit. Ooh, that is seven, eleven points of damage. Okay, damage on the second hit. That is two, that is six points. Okay, well, that one's still uh, wiggling. Uh, it, it lives. It's, well, I mean, it's not it lives, I mean, it's got a few more than just the it lives, but. It's it's still alive. Draw. How bad off is Bren? You're not bloody yet, are you? Oh, no. I got a couple scratches. Yeah, he's not. But you're not bad off. Okay. Nah. Then I'm moving over here. And actually up here. And I'm shooting one of the ones on Felicity. Okay. Nice. And then I am going to telekinetically push another one into the elemental. Okay. So that will be more with the class. Um, and it will be 15 points of damage to one. It's gone. One of the ones that's been hurt. Oh, yeah. It's gone. Okay. And then uh, DC 16 from the other one or get pushed into the elemental. All right. And give me damage on the elemental. Seven. It's dead. Yay! Speaking of elemental. Teamwork. Yes. Uh, so it is going to bum rush into the direct middle of the 13 that just showed up. So it's going to run into like eight of six or eight of them. Six. Okay. Probably. It's going to go into six of them. And Jen, it's going to be surrounded. Gotcha. All right. So um, Heath. And I'll give you the damage yeah. of the six that it just went into. So one. Four, eight, eight, five, one. All right. So yeah, it's like over here in the middle, surrounded. Yep. And Heath, he is going to uh, keep that web going, and looking, looking, looking. One of the ones that's on fire. Uh, probably the one one of the ones that's not directly on fire. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, the, it's going to all the elements. It's going to slam the two that it went through first and is now in the front of because it just went into them. Okay. Uh, two attacks. Uh, nope, neither of those hit. The highest is a thirteen. Okay. And then Heath, he is going to go ahead and cast Toll the Dead on one of them that's on fire. So Wisdom fifteen. Oh, my, okay, that exo made it. Uh, okay, no, it doesn't do anything. Natural I rolled, I rolled a natural down. 20. Yeah, what? Save or not. <laughs> uh, All right. So give me damage for 
You already did, didn't you? Uh, damage, uh, if it's their turn now, it's going to be on the beginning of their turn, too. Yeah, give it to me. So, six more. Uh, okay. There you go. Individually, of course. Keith would move away if they're getting close to him. So, Oops. But near Brent. Or trying to run away. All right. And it is uh, about ten thirty. You guys are pretty much making short work of these guys. So why don't you describe to me exactly how you ended up dispatching this group of gnolls? Thirteen more points of damage to one of them that runs away. Probably one that was already on fire. Okay. So um, when you're around we'll me. we'll start with Felicity. Felicity, what? Give me a description of something Felicity d did that um, helped to eliminate. A good portion of these guys. Um, a, a good portion? Well, I don't know. If she well, just that just give me some sort of description. She would, she would go through and continuously be sword bursting and swinging her war hammer around and just kind of enjoying and knocking them down from there. All right. Um, what did the uh, gems sure and the elemental do? Uh, the elemental, uh, he would avoid the ones that are in the web, but he would, since he's so fast, he would go around and be blocking and corralling. Hitting as he can. Okay. Well, and, winding him. And gems would be doing what? Uh, raining arrows from above on okay. the ones that are near his companions. Um, Bren. I will get. You'll just keep pummeling them. As I'll try to move into where I can get majority of them there, mm -hmm. and do my stone rune where they all are enamored by me and charmed. We'll say some and do get charmed, some don't. And then we'll and just, just start picking them off. And uh, draw. Uh, shooting and throwing them into either the river or the fire element. Alright, so it takes you a little bit. And of course you use up some resources. But uh, you are able to take them out without much of an issue. And as soon as they're done, they're all gone or floating down the river or, or dead, and, you know, Burning to a crisp, the black bird creature flies right back in, lands at y'all's feet, and turns back into the the, the elf. Hmm. Wait, well, that was that was kind of easy for you. Huh. Well, you took yeah. major orca, and they're all gone. Look at the mess they left. And yeah, you so look around, and it's it's definitely a mess. You know, chopped up trees, chopped up animal parts. The river is like, you know, red with the blood of animals as well as the gnolls. See, just destructive creatures, destructive creatures, nasty creatures. Oh, yeah, I am I owe you something, right? Yes. Hmm. All right. And um, it brings out... Second, I'm gonna see if I can actually get a better description. Well, give me a description. He brings out a staff that looks like it's gray, it's uh, gray and cerulean, uh, and it's topped with what looks like a dragon claw carved from ivory. There you go. I can't use this or don't want to use this, but you guys can use it. Uh, okay. Gave us a stick. Gray and blue. Uh, with a claw on the top, you said? Yeah, made out of ivory. A dragon's claw, carved out of ivory. Oh. Uh, Heath will wave his hand over it and identify. Identify. Staff of the Ivory Claw. While holding the staff, you gain a plus one bonus to a spell attack rolls. Whenever you score a critical hit with a spell attack, the target takes an additional 3d6 radiant damage. That is, uh, only re uh, requires attunement by a spellcaster. Sounds like uh, somebody can use that. Yep. <coughs> uh, no. I was thinking radiant damage. Uh, your uh, hammer 
since you have a spell attack for your hammer. And Heath doesn't really have a spell attack for anything. So, so it looks to me that it's either going to be Drawl or Felicity. Yes. Um, I... Since your um, spiritual weapon is a spell attack? Yeah. And Heath really doesn't have any spell attacks. It's character yeah, attack or save or none. I don't do a lot of spell attacks. Uh, would, if I take this, then somebody else should take this, and I'll hold out the javelin of lightning. Brad? Uh, Brad? Wait, wait a minute, yeah, javelin of lightning? You didn't yeah. use it? Well, you weren't here for the dragon, that's why. No. <laughs> um... Yeah, 46 lightning damage for one use? Yeah, it might, might be nice. Yeah, well, you're probably also a little disappointed in your teammates. They didn't bother to search the body of a creature they killed and missed out on something. Oh, well. It happens. Yep. Uh, I'll hold on to it, but I uh, probably won't use it. It's good to throw when you can't get there. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I will remove the javelin of lightning from my okay. inventory, and uh, Bran can put it in his, and you can add the staff claw, staff claw whatever. The ivory claw. Yeah. I would be picking up arrows and um, looking to see if there's anything worth. Yeah. Uh, you. You know what? Give me. Give me a investigation. Okay. Uh, so this plus that equals sixteen. All right, sixteen. Yeah, I was going to say we need to investigate. Give me a... Uh, oh, go ahead. Never mind. What was your... Okay, what was your investigation? 16? 16. So, since Jim's rolled it... Jim's give me a 100. Do 100. Yeah, he's wearing some really fancy armor. Okay. Uh, it's fancy, more than they normally wear, I think. It doesn't look right quite on him. Oh? Uh, can you identify cast, it? Yeah, he'll cast Identify again. See if it's magic or not. Or I can detect magic, you guys, by ritual. So oh, well, detecting magic-wise, it is magical. Okay, and then, yeah, he would... All right. Probably a reason why this guy went down as fast as he did. First, huh? Yeah, it is. It's uh, it's called armor of vulnerability. <laughs> <laughs> armor of vulnerability. Okay. That's not fun. Nope. I mean, it was for us, but not not in general. I mean, if something um, wants so, to do that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's leather armor. And... <coughs> let's see. One, two, three. And he 
he's pretty certain that it gives you vulnerability to bludgeoning and slashing. Gosh. So it it's, gives it, you but it does grant it does grant resistance to piercing. I mean, we could hold on to it. Yeah. Somebody might like it. Maybe. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it for that. Uh, as soon as he hands you the staff and he sees you start searching bodies, the uh, the weird elf disappears. Probably right. a good idea. Um, yeah. I want to also make sure to search the rest of the camp to see if there's, you know, provisions that we would eat. You or find not. a bunch of raw, torn, decaying animals. Decaying is the word there. Okay. Yeah, it's very nasty. Like they've been eating only half of them, throw them in a pile, kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we'll go ahead and call it right there for tonight. Okay. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Uh, granted, we're not stopping on a bit of a cliffhanger. We're not. We're, we're just kind of stopping at the end of the combat because it's already getting pretty late. So uh, check back with us Sunday for some Vampire the Masquerade, uh, or as we call it, the Kindred of Savannah. We'll be back Wednesday for some Torganized play, and then back here again Friday to continue on our march towards, I'm guessing, the ruins that's on the map. Um, we'll be monkey business pursue again um, will the invisible fairy drakes stick around for the duration well come back check it out and we'll see but uh, be, before that happens remember we are in this adventure called life together so keep the golden rule in mind and treat those around you the way you would like to be treated yourself with that have a good week take care bye